Day 48 found us in Rapid City, South Dakota, where we would have to pack up Kathy's stuff, get it down to FedEx to send home, and then eventually say goodbye to each other. But before we did that, we were going to spend the day riding around the area. So by the time we reached Mount Rushmore, I was honestly exhausted, sore, and I was thinking if I had maybe cut my trip two days short, it would have been okay, but I was pooped on and off the bike, etc. Wouldn't you agree with me? Yeah, I could definitely see it, and I could tell that you were, were ready to go home. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to leave you, but I was ready to go home. Mount Rushmore, while absolutely magnificent, was also a little bit of a disappointment to me because it was under construction, and we couldn't really do what a person would want to do there. And I can understand that because having seen Rushmore previously, I was a bit disappointed too that we couldn't, you know, walk down the amphitheater and, and do some of the other things that I was able to do last time. But, but we did go see uh, Crazy Horse after that. I was glad we did that. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we probably both enjoyed that a little bit more than we did Mount Rushmore. Yeah, but I got a little heat exhaustion and had to sit in the air conditioning <laughs> for half an hour with two bottles of water. Other than that, it was great. <laughs> That's true, but... Uh... Uh, and I don't know if this thing is ever going to get done, to be honest with you. It's a beautiful uh, idea and concept, but uh, I would be surprised if Crazy Horse ever gets completed. Incredible museum there, though, and a story about the, the artist and his wife who live there. Fabulous. Yep. They did a really good job of, uh, of putting together uh, the museum and so forth. Uh, so it's, it's definitely worth going. I did not want to leave you. I was so sad to have to be leaving you. I cried the night before, I cried the morning of, I cried when we were standing there. I even had the van driver, this wonderful gentleman from New York, crying because I was crying the whole way to the airport. All right, well, I held it together until about right now. So as uh, Kathy was driving off in the bus that's that's about when I lost it so <laughs> I had to I had to hold it together for her um, but anyway we'll miss her um, but I'll be seeing her in just a few days so all is good I was so grateful for everything that you did for me how comfortable you made me feel all the beauty that you showed me I love you so much, and I was so grateful for this opportunity. All right, gang, I guess I have to catch you up on how the rest of my day went. Because, while it wasn't bad, it was actually a very nice day, it didn't go quite like I was expecting. You see, on Monday, I had called Rice's Motorsports here in uh, Rapid City and told them that I was coming into town I'd be available either Thursday or Friday and I needed to have some tires put on and so they gave me prices for the tires prices for the labor and I said okay cool let's do it um, do I need to make an appointment and they said oh no just come by just uh, you know and we'll fit you in like okay so you can see where this was go is going now, right? So after Kathy left, I rode down there, which is just not too far from the hotel here. And I said, hey, I had called you and blah, blah, blah. I went through the story. Oh, man, we've gotten slammed. We just can't do any more today. I'm like, wait a minute. You know, you told me that, uh, you know, I should just bring it in. I called you on Monday, tried to make an appointment, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, man, I'm sorry. You know, it's... It's, uh, you know, coming up here on the rally and all this kind of stuff, right? So, all right. You know, I get it, okay? So they were nice enough to me, and, um, and they're going to fit me in first thing tomorrow morning. So I'm going to be down there at a little before 9, because uh, uh, they open up at 9, and uh, I got myself put on the list already, and they're going to change my tires out. So... That'll put me a couple hours behind in leaving, so it really should be no big deal. If I can get out of here by noontime even, I can make Sioux Falls, um, you know, by early 
early evening or you know late afternoon time so so tires are all done uh, thank you to rice's rushmore motorsports for getting me in and getting the tires taken care of um, i'm gonna get on the road said so it's a little before 11 o'clock so again not too bad i still should be able to get into sioux falls at a decent hour and hopefully the rain will hold off When I left Rapid City and headed towards Sioux Falls, South Dakota, it was day 50. And luckily, the rain did hold off for me. It was a beautiful day all the way into Sioux Falls. And well, pretty much what you see here is what it looked like the entire way as well. Uh, pretty flat. I was starting to head through uh, farm country out on the plains. And uh, not that it's not beautiful in its own right, but a lot different than the mountains I had been traveling. And on day 51, when I headed towards Fargo, North Dakota, well, it was more of the same. Again, more farm country, more plains. Uh, again, a lot of beautiful country in its own right. Uh, the farms themselves can be absolutely beautiful. But again, it was mostly just a traveling day. Again, getting myself from Rapid City and headed up to Duluth, where I was gonna head up into Canada over the Great Lakes. Hey guys, uh, it is day 51. I am already in Fargo and uh, it's one o'clock, a little after one o'clock. I just stopped for lunch. I'm at Sicky's Garage, which is a real cool place. Uh, and I'm um, going to have some lunch and then head over to the hotel and see if there's anything interesting to do in Fargo. So that was very good. So if you're ever in Fargo, and I saw they had one of these over in uh, Rapid City as well. So check it out. Pretty good. So I'm here in Fargo and the girl at the hotel told me that I had to come down to the visitor center because they have the wood chipper from the movie here. And while I was traveling, back at home, Kathy found that her car battery was dead. So she called up our good friend Rob. He came over to give her a hand. And of course, uh, we exchanged his hard work for a few beers. Thanks, Rob. Really appreciate it. Well, also, Kathy found a Starbucks. And my hat, my lost hat, showed up. 